I am one of those ladies who don't make my husband clean up the drains and I do it myself. So the plan is to hook up our uh, toilet to salt water. So moment of truth. Something's leaking. Happy, hey five. And now just the pressure tank. I'm gonna put that in. So your water goes in here and this is like a little um, Accumulate water in your <laughs> accumulator tank. Welcome to Sading Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. Ricky's busy finishing up on these other boats. Hopefully it can be done soon. The time is ticking and we need to get the tasks on our boat done. There are not a lot of tasks. Estimate about two weeks worth of work. We want to get the boat done completely before we go enjoy Cape Town. So you don't have this cloud hanging over your head. You still have work to do. So we want to finish up all the boat jobs um, Namibia is still closed at the moment. South Africa is in level 2 lockdown. So things are opening up now. The aquarium sightseeing things are opening up. Which we weren't able to do before lockdown happened. So there's a few things we still want to do and go see. First things first, we needed to wash Lady Africa. Badly. She was starting to look a bit sad. On my to-do list, besides varnishing our head door i need to finish varnishing that that still needs a couple of coats i need to clean out our shower bulge pump i have long hair long hair shades a lot my hair is pretty much i think clogging up our bulge pump a little bit because it's not working as well as it should be so i'm gonna get down to cleaning that cleaning out the tray my hair is probably like a ball in <laughs> hair. it's pretty gross actually but I am one of those ladies who don't make my husband clean up the drains and I do it myself because it is my hair. Second, I was pretty pissed off that Ricky t took the tools because he's doing a battery installation on another boat. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to open this stupid thing. But I found this. First things first though, I'm gonna need some of these. This part right here is what reminded me why I try to clean our shower bilge pump more often. This thing was like full of, I don't even know, I'm calling it hair remover because it smells like that and it made this like thick creamy layer on top here which is pretty nasty. I just see my hair like protruding from this little motor okay yep just a bunch of hair so our shower bulge is clean it's working well everything's been sucking up so i'm pretty chuffed and my bulge got pumped out now so all's good to go and it's working Last time I cleaned this was about six months ago. I actually tried to do it every two and a half months to three months. Um, I did this a while ago, so that's why it's probably so gross. While I complete the last few things I need to varnish on the boat, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. It's a free way you can support our channel. It's a miserable day today, so it's, miserable. it's raining, it's miserable. Yeah, it is a little miserable. So we're going to do the salt water supplied to our toilet. Oh, so not in the mood. We're not in the mood to work, but we need to because things are starting to open up and we need to get the boat ready to go. Yeah, we need to get Because we still need to go and see our niece, go see our families before we leave and all that stuff. So we need to have the boat finished before we leave. Because we became uncles and aunts recently. I don't know if we said that. We haven't. 
Yeah. So I'm a big uncle now. We should probably put these accumulator tanks into. Stuff's been lying around. We haven't finished projects. Literally like half this stuff here. Yeah. We've got some spare zinc anodes. This is we're going to take it with. We don't need to change ours now. But these are the split type anodes. So we won't, once we do the conversion, we won't have to haul out to do anodes anymore. When the boat looks like this, this is all the projects that we still need to complete on the boat. Put in some new boxes for the solar setup. Once we do the final, we're going to put some isolators. Isolators. <laughs> isolators. So we've got some isolators that are going to go in to the main battery bank. We make us some coffee because we're falling asleep and we need to work. But beauty of having lithium batteries. I don't need to boil my water with gas. I can just plug my little. How many moles is this thing? It's a one liter kettle. It's a kettle. one liter kettle. A quarter and gallon. And it draws 1,100 and something watts. 1,100 1, and something watts. I think it's 1,200 total. Yeah, it's Rounded off. It's not, it doesn't draw 1,200, but it's a hotel kettle. Yeah. If you yeah, guys are looking else. for something, this is the little one we got. It's, that's the size of my hand, so you can see how small it is. And so now, if it's just me and Ricky, we don't have to use our gas. We can use the power that the sun provides us. The power us. of the sun on a day like so. this. <laughs> Yeah. Coffee. Thank you. I forgot that the pipes are top here. We don't even need to get close to the pump. We can just tee in up top here. And you're going to pull it through there. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to hook up our toilet to salt water. So it's going to have both fresh water and salt water. And the reason for that is when we're sailing, it's nice to have it on salt water. So we conserve it with the amount of water we're using. But if we do want to flush the system or clean it out, we can run a bit of fresh water through the thing and protect the pump and all that, especially if it's going to stand for a while, we can put some fresh water. I mean, you could also use the freaking shower hose, but it was plumbed originally with fresh water. If we're in marina, I prefer running it with fresh water, just less harmful to the internals of the pump. And we even have though supplied this stuff is to fresh water too though. Yeah. So yeah, main thing, feed it salt so that this, this stuff is free. There's plenty salt water in the ocean. There are people telling us we're making a grave mistake switching it to salt water, but toilets use a lot of water. And if you are three, four people, you're gonna go through a lot of water. So that is the reasoning behind it. Yes, we have a water maker, but... If you use the thing a lot, it doesn't stink. If you poop a lot, it don't stink. You don't if you poop a lot, obviously it doesn't <laughs> stink. But if you if you use your toilet a lot, the water doesn't get doesn't stand because standing salt water is what stinks hectic. So if you use it a lot, it really doesn't build up much smell, none at all actually. All the boats that I've been on all the time, once we got used out of that first week or whatever, did that clean, and then just used it all the time. It didn't really stink. The downside to it is like if you go up into estuaries and stuff and you're using salt water, yes. When you flush the toilet, it's brown salt water that's coming in. It's not pre-filtered. So it's nasty brown water that you're using out of the estuary. And that's what you're flushing the toilet with. So that's the downside of it. But Plus, we, we can use our fresh water in the estuaries. We can. Well, I mean, a bit of brown water. It doesn't Never kill killed anyone. It looks like poop anyway. So if your toilet do not work well, Brown water matches the poop. <laughs> so we're gonna tee into this line. This is our salt supply to the deck wash. So we're gonna tee into there and then we'll send it across. So how are you gonna do that now with water going through it? Well, there's no pressure. Our salt water pump is on our port side and our toilet is on our starboard side so we needed to run the plumbing from one hole across to the other. We used to sit on the grass and go damn I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time So you're gonna put the stopper and then taste it to make yeah, sure Yeah, put the stopper and just make sure that those connections are gonna be fine before I plumb the whole boat and then we got problems with it. Turn the pressure on. Okay. 
Once the plumbing was on the starboard side, we needed to run it down and behind our freezer into our head. Take the freezer out to run the pipe to the head. So one thing I like to do is add these guys. And it's pretty much just a retaining clip. So once that pushes back like that, you can't really get the pipe out. And this just secures it that it's in there. Because if you just push this back, you can pretty much just pull the pipe out. And they've got an O-ring in there, they seat really well. And um, I actually had no leaks, but this is just that extra little bit of insurance. Be 17 again, yeah I would, just to see all my friends. Running around the city, a moment of truth. Something's leaking. Hey? Oh, I think it's out the back. We still have the fitting in. Let's go. Nope. Go. Oh. Okay, let's check for all the fittings. Nope. I don't think there's leaks. Don't feel here. Nope. All good. So, is our salt water working? Officially salt water. Take my jacket off because I tried a bit of nasty poop. No, <laughs> nasty salt water. So we installed those lines quite a while ago and they had a little bit of salt water. Well, not the line that runs here, but the line that feeds the swim deck. Yeah, and that water's a bit nasty. That's the only thing with salt water, it stinks if you don't run it often. I'm happy, high five. And now just the pressure tank. I'm gonna put that in. That's what our accumulator tank looks like. Uh, we just get these. These are John Gay's quick fit. If you had a any any a lot of boating stores actually stock these. The the accumulator tank we got I think from Vitas. Yeah, there's a Vitas tank. Where do you hook it up to? So that's for the galley. Because we can choose. Do we want it in the galley or do we want it in the shower? We're supposed to have two. I suggest the galley because that's when I that's when I when want you to open the tap just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I think you I'm never gonna, open a little bit here. Yeah. So either by the pump or we put it underneath the sink. Where do you want it? By the water pump. By the water pump. Because under the sink there's just a lot of stuff in there. Okay, let me see if I can fit it in there. And then yeah. If you can't then you can't, but if you can... This is the tiniest it. accumulator I've ever seen, so I wonder if it's going to work. I think it will because we already have... Oh, those the, pumps are so small anyway. We also really have the filter there. So the filter is also acting like a storage a little thingy. Because you, you open then, now a little bit and it still does the same thing, right? Yeah, but it, it's a lot less than mm -hmm. before the filter. So you added the filter, mm -hmm. then it already did a difference. Now if you add that thing, it's going to make an extra difference. So your water goes in here, and this is like a little um, accumulates water in your <laughs> accumulator tank. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not just going through your pipes like your tap it's gonna go in here and build pressure in here and then feed this into your so generally now when i open the tap it goes there and what goes there the the, the uh, pump. water pump yeah you gotta explain that and then if i close it a little bit it still continuously puts pressure on the pump yeah but it's bring out a little bit of water so you're putting strain on the pump yeah with this it's going to put less pressure on the pump less strain on off on the pressure switch yeah so less your pump is not going to have to work as hard when you are only opening it a little bit yeah pretty much I'm not good at describing it but that's how I would describe it inside yeah there's a little what do you think of what's inside a tire on on not all tires obviously the the tubeless tires won't have it but on like cars that have tubes in the tires there's a little tube in here so if you think of it like a little balloon there's a little balloon in there and now that balloon absorbs and dissipates the pressure and with that it makes sure that not only does your water flow more smoothly but it doesn't do that 
that pulsating yeah. it removes that pulsating out of it and obviously also makes that the pump runs less because the pump will run this will pressurize will, will it will pressurize the cylinder so the little balloon will get smaller and then the pump will stop running and then this well, will force that water back out so that pump doesn't run continuously so when you open a tap slightly and the pump's like J -j 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 -j, that's a pressure switch kicking on and off on and off and then you you go through pressure switches and you can actually we've burned one already on this boat so so by putting these in we hopefully and that's the only thing that i really noticed fail on these on these little pumps is a pressure switch i've changed them on a couple of boats already so it is something that's avoid. common to go so putting in one of these really inexpensive because those pumps are expensive and this is really inexpensive this is actually by vetus and it's a 0.75 liter one so it's a really small one so hopefully it will do just enough for what we want to do I've yeah. our pumps lie. and obviously the bigger you go with this the better but it doesn't help to put a 20 liter one on a system that only delivers 10 liters per minute you know so you need to be in range of it but like a one or two liter size pressure vessel is great for for small boats cool so the accumulator is down here all i did that was the line that feeds this this hole so i just chomped it off put the accumulator in there done now when you run the water it works like this mind all the dishes <laughs> mind all the dishes we've been and everything else that's running. I couldn't wash dishes this morning because we're just packing everything out. Shit's crazy on the boat, but so focus on what the main goal is. So you open, see, pump doesn't run, but there's still water coming out. Open it up a little bit, no pump running, but there's still water running. Pump pressurizes again. Okay, it's not working. And then goes off. Pump will run again, and then we'll go off. See? And it works. Boom, bam, done. Who's making that sound? Oh no, that's me. I'm going to be on oh. the printer. See, I'm thinking it's the fucking <laughs> something cooking with a pump. It's my leg against yeah, the printer. Yeah, that's the purpose, so that it does that instead of the pump going, kicking on and off, on and off. And I'll show you a good example of what happens when you don't have one. Let's go to the bathroom because I haven't installed one there yet. See how the pump runs like that? And that's the pressure switch kicking in and off or in and out the whole time. On and off, on and off, on and off. And that's how you blow pressure switches. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already. And if you'd like to join our Lady Africa family, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome weekend ahead, guys.